Hi guys, let's talk about the history of Palestine. Historic Palestine as we know it today was first established in the second century by the Romans who freed Palestine from the Jewish occupiers that used to call it Judea. The great Roman liberators made sure Jews were forbidden from settling anywhere in Palestine or in its immediate vicinity. And as part of their spiritual cleansing process, they named the land Syria Palestina. Alas, the Samaritans who stayed in the land kept revolting instead of the Jews, so to make it easier to control all forms of Israelites, they had to split the land into smaller chunks. Thus, the province of Syria Palestina and neighboring regions were organized into the provinces Palestina Prima, Palestina Secunda, and Palestina Terrieta, 1st, 2nd, and 3rd Palestine. And so, the Byzantines had liberated Palestine by mass the Samaritans. Now, Palestine remained a land that was free, but also free of people. Longing for the best humans in the world to finally invent Islam and come to settle it, Jund Palestine finally was made, or the military district of Palestine, that was established as a military district of the Umayyad and the Abbasid province of Bilad al-Sham, that's the Levant, organized soon after the Muslim conquest of the Levant in the 7th century. At this point, Palestine was very small and under military control, but there is no better liberation than the submission to Islam, A. Eh? Then, in the 11th century, a tragedy happened. It was occupied again by the Crusaders. And for a long time, Palestine was forgotten because later on, both the Muslim Mamluks and the Muslim Ottomans forgot to use that name. Before Palestine was finally liberated again by the Brits, it was split between Beirut Valley and Mutasarifat of Jerusalem and other confused entities. The Brits, as proper liberators, re-established the Palestinian identity, invented the Palestinian flag, the Palestinian kafia, and so on and so forth, and basically everything that has to do with the Palestine or Palestinians. Or, but also the Kagabe can help them, but that's, that's later. But alas, the Brits were both the liberators of Palestine and its worst enemies because they had forgotten that the reason the Romans created Palestine to begin with was to eliminate the Jews and then the Samaritans and to make sure they have nowhere to live. Luckily, the local Arab population did not forget the original purpose of Palestine and reminded the Brits of the original purpose. So, the Arabs, as those who carried the will of the original Palestine creators, had the real right to the land and inherited with it the holy mission of getting rid of the Israelites. Indeed, that is the true spiritual inheritance of the Romans and the Palestinians. The Brits, unfortunately, even when they hurriedly tried to correct the mistake they made by collaborating with the Jews, were too late and the damage was done. And so, the Jews had kicked out the Brits, established Israel, and Palestine had been occupied ever since. And that is the history of Palestine. Like, comment, subscribe, share this video. I have a Buy Me Coffee link below if you guys want to support me. And I love you all and thanks for watching. See you later. Prior to Israel's independence war, this is what the Arab leader Abed Rahman Azam had declared. This will be a war of extermination and mountainous massacre, which will be spoken of like the Tartar massacre or the Crusader Wars.